Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel today. Today we've got a slightly different video, it's not that much different. It is called the Half an Avocado October Art Challenge. In case you're wondering, these are not my hands, not my painted nails, these are the nails of my wife. Me. 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 <laughs> Me. It's basically an October Art Challenge for her. I've picked out the art supplies, packed them up, they're all a surprise. Big surprise. Big surprise. I don't have any clue what it Looking is. Looking forward to it. A bit of a challenge maybe. Yeah. I might have chosen something um, that you're not used to doing. And I hope you've picked a challenge for me to do like a word or something too. You'll we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, yeah, so it's basically not really a set budget, but if you've seen like the scroll boxes and stuff like that, it's sort of like an art box in one, but we've done it ourselves just to sort of fill well, the gap as well because self. you only get one a month with a scroll yeah. box, don't you? So basically that is what it's going to be. So you're going to open it up, yeah. react to what's inside yeah. along with me. Yeah. See, <laughs> yeah. It's very exciting to talk. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So you're going to open it up and then you're going to be doing a painting, which will be a speed painting on the channel. Yeah. If you watched the scroller box video last time, or you'll remember that you actually forgot to press record. Yeah, I forgot to for press record. For both paintings that you did. But I'm definitely going to make sure this you're time. Make sure you press record this time. Yeah. So we do actually get some footage of you actually doing the artwork this time. Yeah. So anyway, basically, that is what's going to be. This video, sir, you can get ahead and go on and open this little package. Okay then, I'm very excited because I don't know what's in it. Mm. I'm also apprehensive. Apprehensive, why? Yeah, because I'm worried. You're worried? Yeah. About I know you inside. always get me nice things. I always get nice stuff. It's usually me that picks out your stuff yeah. even though I'm not an artist and I can't and, draw. Uh, I don't really have an idea what to do. I don't know why I'm always apprehensive. Tell me to buy your stuff. <laughs> this time it's a complete surprise. I am opening it backwards, aren't I? Yeah. Is this the piece of paper? Little piece of paper. And the word is landscape. So, so what face, I'm yeah. thinking is, <laughs> what I'm thinking is, I did a few landscapes for my dinosaurs in the back background, and I also did a landscape a few days ago, maybe the day before yesterday, for my Inktober. So. Yeah, it was the day before yesterday yeah. you sort of did a landscape mm. upon, but I planned all this out before he did that. Yeah. So I was like, oh no, you're doing a landscape. You don't usually do landscapes. I know. But... It's like I had an intuition. But so. it'll probably be a bit of a different way of doing a landscape with what you right. put inside this. Right. So, hashtag landscape. This is the word I'm going to have to base my artwork off. So, so yeah. very exciting. In open up so the bubble wrap this what's time. In. If you want to turn it over, we'll get a few wrap. things out at a time, maybe. Just flip it over. Let me flip it. Doesn't matter if it's a rippage. If you rip it. Yep. So, I can't see anything in here, so I'm going to... can't really see through. I can't see through it, so I'm going to bring out the things. things one, one thing at a time. Right, so this. So this is a pencil, Faber-Castell 1.0. Uh, made in Germany. And it has a... Rubber at the end, I think. No, no maybe so. not. Just anyway, a, this a 1 .0 is a 1.0 mechanical pencil. Mechanical pencil. Trying to get the focus right. Steady using a focus. So that'll be useful as well afterwards for drawing. So I know you like mechanical pencils. Yeah, I do. I think you needed a new one. Yeah, I did. Anyway, so, so yeah. that's cool. I like that. So next, in into here, I'm going to bring out one of the single things again. So let's bring out this, a paintbrush, and it is an SAA large detailer. Large detailer. So brush. I don't think you've had one of the SAA. Brushes, brushes before no, SAA is an art shop in England that's basically all online. You're actually a member of that. It's yes. where we get a lot of our art supplies from mm. because you get a discount as well and free postage. Yeah, we get free postage and or discount, free shipping, yeah. as you call it in America. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought the brushes looked actually quite decent and are quite reasonably priced as well. I like how it has a little thing on the end to protect it. And it's it. um, sable as well and it's um, vegan friendly. Right. Oh, cool. Are they SAA brushes, as are their watercolour paints as well, aren't they? Yeah, All they are. Yeah. Which is good for us. Usually, so. so next, next thing. thing. I'm going to get 
one of the single things again. Oh. So this graphic pit. You've pencils. actually got to ignore the the uh, box on that. They're okay. Just because they were Let's individually ordered, so if you just ignore the box, they just sent it for safety yeah. in the boxes. So here we go, we've got some, let's see what these are. Al this camera. There we go. Albrecht. Albrecht Jura. Jura. Which is Faber Castell and Faber it's their Castell. watercolour, watercolour pencils. Watercolour pencils. Oh, I haven't actually tried these, I have polychromos. Oh, no, that's fine, but yeah. But these Majora's. are their like polychromos, but the watercolor versions of so, those. I said water soluble. I think you'd say. Right. Yeah. So you can actually uh, put. You explain. You're the artist. They, <laughs> they put the. You put them down. I'll probably explain. Well, I can't explain the speed yeah. drawing, can I? But you put them down, um, and then you can also use the paintbrush wet over them to wet them as well, and also mix them that way. So we've got a yeah, couple of colours. We've got the. Let me try to get that. Does that say I can't see it from here? It says. Phalo Blue. There's one that's got a quite funny name, but I can't remember which one it is. This one. Craplac. Craplac Blue. Craplac Madder. Um, this one is. It's on the other side. Jupi Jupiter. Ju Juniper Green. Oh, I love that name. Juniper Green, very. I love that name. And then we've got. And May Green, May Green. May Green, May Green. I think we. I think you can see the yellow. And we've got. So it's just a light yellow light glaze. Light yellow glaze. Ooh, that will that will be good. So I'm not really good with colour palettes, but I thought that was good enough <laughs> for a landscape theme. Yeah. And then the next thing is sort of something to try and mix with those, right. sort of to use alongside. Yep. So it's pretty much Faber Castell themed a lot of it. Six artist pens, Faber Castell. So these are the pit pens. Pit pens. Let's I can't remember if you used up. a pit pen before. I think, you've I got think some in the I might have box. used one or two or in, um, the other in artist gray, box used to get. gray or something. But these are the brush type ones. Yeah. You can get into them, and this is the landscape set as well. Oh, so wow! The sort of similar theme colors to go alongside the oh, the watercolor. Yeah, the, the this one, the, so I think there's one that's almost match. the same color as well. So I can't remember if that's so you actually say the name. This one point. says opaque chromium oh, green opaque. Um. May green, yes, this one's May green, so this one's. It's good that yeah, they match the up. Yeah, that's the one that I matched up. And the other ones are sort um, of similar, but maybe a different shade. I wanted to match the green up for you. Indian red, green gold, in 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 then three blue, um, sky blue. And these are. So do they all have a, they all have like little? Do they have little stars after them? Yes, it shows like light, light, light fastness. So. fastness yeah. So I might swatch them all out as well. Yeah, you could swatch them. Could maybe do some. I don't know if you do a swatch for a different video. If you get some more, maybe I'll swatch yeah. them in this one. I'll well. swatch them in this. It won't take so long. I might try and do a swatch thing so as well. So this. And then we've got a. Uh, and this mixed media pad. I love this paper. This is what I usually use, but usually I. You don't actually use that one in quite a while, and you used to have a bigger pad. Of yeah, it as well, a bigger A3 pad, but I always cut it, so this will be good to use without having to cut it. Because you used this one a lot when you were doing ACOs. Didn't yeah, you? I did. Yeah. So I didn't know really which paper to get that much to choose from, so I just thought I'd get one that <laughs> could take water. Yeah, I was trying to figure out I what take paper. water. It's my favourite. And that one you can use for pretty much anything, and it's pretty yeah. heavy. It's almost. It's almost uh, as heavy as a watercolour paper, which is 300 usually. And it's got the roughness that you like as well, it's not smooth. Mm, mixed media, can you take any media as well? Yeah. It's great. It's acrylic watercolour pastel. I was thinking of getting you like um, 
some sort of like pastel sort of chart things, but I didn't know if you'd be able to use them because it's not something you're that used yeah, to. Yeah, things that I get easy. on my finger. Take it easy on me first I time round. Take it on easy for the first one. That yeah. <laughs> so anyway, do you think you're going to be able to do something with those? Yeah, definitely. I'm going to you're make going to do a few landscapes for my speed drawing because I did two last time. I think with the landscapes, since they're quite, sometimes it can be quite quick. I might do two or three. And depends we can, what, yeah. depends.
So we're back. Two paintings done. Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. A uh, palette. What do you call it? The um, swatch. The swatch is. That what we call yes, it? I swatch did some done swatches as well, first which of you all. should have just seen. So we've got some swatches of all the colours yeah, that you got swatches. today. And here I was um, experimenting with what they look like mixed with each other and each one. I tried to do each one mixed with each other. I think I got them all. So which is which? What are these? Are these these the, ones are the um, these. these. They're the uh, Albrecht Jura watercolor pencils. Um, I didn't do too much watching of the pencil. But I think this is an F. I couldn't tell. I think it says F. I think it is an F. An F as in what type of pencil it um, is? The, the hardness. Right, is it quite light? Yeah, but I don't mind it. It's good Sorry. for um, mapping things out. I can't remember if it said HB or F when I bought anyway, it. Anyway, I'm um, happy with it anyway. I don't think it will have been. It'll have been a H or a HB, right. I think. Because they're the ones I was looking at. But anyway, so which ones are the uh, pit markers? These are the pit markers. Um, and these are the all the pit markers. So, they're pit markers mixed oh, together. These, what are these ones are watercolor pencils mixed with the each other. They're the watercolor pencils yes. mixed with each other. These are the pit pens mixed yeah. with each other. So which you do like better to, to work with the pencils? Uh, the... I like the watercolor pencils as usual because um, you like watercolor. Yeah, but I like these more than I thought I would. The pens. Yes, I thought they'd be more felt tippy. What are they to... like compared to the Copics or the um, um, what are the other ones for Pro markers, Winter and Newton ones? Yeah, they're just they? as good. Just but as I like, good. Yeah. They have a smaller nib, those. Yeah, they have a smaller nib. They're, they're like sort of like felt tippy, but right. not scratchy like a felt tip, which is what I thought they would be. And I'm... I don't like you get a nice even blend yeah, on them. Yeah, they got a, a small good... brush pen on them. Yeah. You get a good crossover of them as well. Mm. I like them, they're, they're nice to work with. Cool. So you want to move on to your first drawing? Yeah, yeah. Your first painting, drawing, yeah, I sort of, markering. Um, it's like a I mix, this one, that's how the challenge was. I was trying to work out what to do and I asked you and you, you said you should do this, so I did this. Some poppies, a poppy Some field, poppy fields. which is a bit of a challenge for you because you don't really do landscapes. I don't landscapes. usually do landscapes, but I have been, I have done a few recently, just a few, and I'm very uncomfortable with doing them to be honest, but um, sometimes it's good to do things out of your comfort zone. So where did you see uh, what colour pencils and the um, markers, all can you remember? Over. Um, I just mixed it all over. So it's just, you know, there's no real defined point where there's certain things used. Like, um, this is the watercolour pencil, yeah, I guess, the all at the top. Yeah, the I did the, the sky. And the Any detail in here? It looks like um, you've done detail in detailing here. Detailing with, the, with the pit markers, yes. So if we try and get that. Try and get a bit closer and focused in. Right down there, is that pit marker above my um, phone? Or is that? That's... A mixture. I think I did a bit Just of a mixture, marking, like the detail. Yes. I know. Yeah. Um, for some of the splashing, because I wanted to do splashing originally for the um, poppies that are in the background, so I did that with the watercolor pencils and the brush that you gave me. Uh -huh. And how's the um, brush? The the brush is really nice. One. Compared to yeah. the other ones, I don't know what type the um, other ones are. I'm just not really a, sure. I just like any. <laughs> I just like any brush. To to, I can't really tell the difference usually with brushes. So that's it for a poppy field. So what did you paint next? Um, next I painted. Um, you I forgot what I picked for you. I'm not sure what it was, but you you. I don't know what it was. Anyway, it, it was, was just, just a nice scene, scene that I thought scene. I'd use more of the blue and the yellows. Yeah. It so it's like an ocean scene, and um, there is mountains in the background, which were hidden by the fog. You actually yeah. managed to do in the background, so there's a hint of the mountains in the background, and then a jetty that has some boats in. So this one you've got more pronounced Mostly, pit markers on this one. Yeah. For the dock, and the you've dock, got some marks down here with it. Here and here for the tree, um, but most of the rest of it is the watercolor pencils. And I didn't actually use the pencil at all. 
Um, you didn't sketch out on this one. I don't think I did in either of them, but I will use the pencil for other you things. I remember you starting off a little bit of the sketching on the poppy field, but I don't oh, think yeah. you actually did much other than right, the... Right, uh, other than the... Marking mapping, out the skyline, I think. stuff, yeah. I couldn't remember whether I did or not. I can't remember. I remember you drawing the... He started off doing the clouds with the watercolour yeah. pencil, like, marking out where the clouds were. Oh, yeah, of course. And you've got the defined marks down there. Is that the pit pens down there yeah, for the reeds? Yeah, pit pens. I always feel like when I'm working like this that it looks messy. I know it doesn't, but to me in my head, because I usually do oh, things... You usually like a lot more detail, don't you? Yeah. You've been a bit looser with I've your been landscapes. Loose, I've been looser um, generally, I think, because um, with my artwork, because if if I don't do it, then my hands hurt. And if I do do it, I have to do it in a looser style. So mm -hmm. maybe this will be my new style. I don't know, really, but it could be. Could be. So because it's a lot easier on my hands. Two very nice paintings <laughs> for this first art challenge. Yeah. You asked me to set up for you. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it. I think next time we'll be back with a vegan box which I think is coming next week. Maybe. You've got doing some videos at the weekend with Toucan our son Miles which will be a toucan box with like a crafting video that we'll be back with. Mm. So I think we've got, I can't remember what it is, modern art I think. Modern art. And um, there is another one but that might be coming a bit later. There'll be a vegan box and then obviously watch out for the next scrawler box coming through as well. Yeah definitely. So anyway that is it from us today, half an avocado. Hope you enjoyed the paintings, hope you enjoyed the speed paintings. Hopefully you get some nice ideas or maybe try and link below to where we've got these art supplies from. That's another from. thing, when you use pens all the time you get messy hands get messy hands i'll try and link down below in the description maybe to where we got some of these things from and what we used or what was actually in this box but anyway that is it hashtag landscape it was hashtag. this time for leslie and until next time as we said there'll be more videos coming up on this channel keep an eye out for them but until next time like subscribe leave a comment and all the usual platforms you can follow us on twitter instagram all the links will be down below but until next time we'll see you later Goodbye. Bye. Is that Thank it? Goodbye. You. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.